Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today we're going to be going over a different type of number talk. So follow along. So I have, I start out with one quarter, one fifth, and three thirtieths. So which one, which one of these would be a uh, the larger amount or the greater amount? What do you think? Do you think it'd be one quarter, one fifth, or three thirtieths? How would you solve this? What do you think makes the difference in how large a number is, how small a number is, and such? Well, is it the denominator or the numerator up here at the top? Let's take a look. So let's, how would you visualize this? Me, I would visualize it as a circle. So let's look at this circle here. So I have a circle, and there's my center point, and I'm going to draw a radius, and I'm going to say one quarter. So one quarter of a circle is going to look something like this, and I have, you know, it's, it's a right angle there between these radii, and so that's going to be equal to one quarter. One fifth is that'd be five pieces, not four pieces, going around this circle. So it'd probably be a little bit less than one quarter. So there's one fifth. But how would you look at three thirtieths? Hmm. Well, both of them are three in it, so I bet you we can reduce that to one over ten because three times one is three, and three times ten is 30. So we have one-tenth. So one-tenth, that'd be 10 pieces around, so that would probably be half the size of the one-fifth. So I'm going to draw that here. I'm going to call that one-tenth. So the number with the greatest value or the largest number is one-quarter. See how you can figure things out quickly? Just by drawing a picture. That's it for today, and we'll see you another time.